Hello, my name is Heitor from Bacula, Latin America. Today I'm going to talk about the 9.4 Community Bacula version installation. Bacula nowadays has two versions, one enterprise proprietary version, which my company sells licensing and support over the Latin America, and also the community version, which is free. It's a free software you can download, you can change the source code. And we are going to talk about this today. I also have a book uh, that is sold on uh, at Amazon.com and also some video class at Udemy.com. This new video is an update of my video class at Udemy.com. The link for the video classes are in the video description if you have any interest. Okay. Uh, the Bacula Community uh, 9 version updates, the most preeminent updates are now we have an aligned driver which allows the Bacula disk storage backups to be deduplicated using uh, file systems with the duplication capabilities such as ZFS, such as OpenDDUP or even uh, hardware, storage hardware the duplication and this is very important. You need the aligned driver for that because the traditional Bacula volume format it's non-structured, you would have any the duplicability using the traditional uh, Bacula disk volumes uh, with the duplication systems. Okay, now it's available for the Bacula, the community Bacula users. We also have now the S3 driver, which allows the user to store backups in any S3 compatible cloud, such as AWS, Amazon Cloud, such as Hackspace, Backblaze, uh, even Oracle, I guess they now have an S3 AP, so uh, it's a whole new world, instead of tapes, instead of disks, you can just upload your backup for the cloud. There are also a third party uh, project called Rclone, that I explain my website, but it's a script it emulates a tape library for Barclay and uploads to the cloud. It's not as performatic, it's not as good and easy to install as the S3 driver. Now we also have the Baculum user interface, which is a web with a user interface like in this screen here, in this screenshot. It's great, it's much better than WebAcula and WebMin. You can basically change all Bacula configurations the catalog objects and of course the backup administration you can run backup jobs you can uh, submit to restore jobs it's very good it's very easy and now it's available for the community version I highly recommend it, recommend it. and I'm going to also to update my video classes with the Baculum installation and some information at least you also have a new interface, which is a programmatic interface, that is the REST API. That is great if you want to uh, make an automation, a script, an orchestration, if you want to develop a website that integrates with Bacula, a user button that to start a backup job, this is very easy with now with the REST API. It's very complete. You, you can also change Bacula configurations, catalog objects and uh, run backup jobs and start the stop back backup jobs using the REST API, okay? But let's talk about Bacula installation. In my video class and in my book at Amazon.com, I always thought about the compilation, I always talked about the compilation because it gives a little bit more work, okay, to build Bacula from the uh, source code, but it's uh, important to have this possibility because you might have an old operating system version or you might have an unusual operating system and then you need to install Bacula and for some reason you don't have the package or you don't have the package that the version that you need. 
So it's important to know how to build Bakula from source, and I explain that in my classes. Of course, it's easier, much easier. You have the native Debian and CentOS and Red Hat distribution packages, which allow you to install the Bakula server or the Bakula client only. However, however, they usually have old versions only because the, uh, the, the native packages they follow the operating system versions and they are only updated when a new operating system version is uh, released and of course they use the Bakula user can't it can't have the newest features so that's why it has been for a while Bakula.org, the Bakula project uh, has been providing some exclusive repositories with more updated Bakula installation packages for server, for the clients, and also for Windows servers, okay, Windows, Windows clients, for, uh, clients for Windows machines, okay, so that's the scope of this video, of this update. The main difference between the native Linux packages for the Bakula.org packages are the Bakula objects location in the operating system. On the older Linux versions, the, the directory for Bakula configurations, it was etc slash Bakula. And now everything, all the Bakula objects are under opt Bakula. So the configurations are in the etc, the binaries are in the bin, the scripts are in the scripts for the Bakula scripts, the scripts to make the Bakula catalog backup, the scripts to create the Bakula catalog. Every, every Bakula script is under scripts. And the Bakula working folder, which has the Bakula log, it has the, 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 the trace, the, the, the bug trace if enabled, it has the log files from the process files, it's under working, so have that in mind. You can use this procedure to make a full new installation and of course you can also update older installations. You just need to uninstall the older Bakula version, to install the new packages and of course you have to copy your configuration from the prior etc Bakula location to the OPT Bakula etc location. Okay, and of course, you need also to run the scripts update Bacula catalog scripts to update your Bacula catalog. Okay, for this video, I'm going to use the CentOS 7 with Postgres. It's the most recommended setup now for Bacula because all Bacula system developers they are using Cento, mainly CentOS and Postgres. Of course, uh, Debian and my Ubuntu and MySQL, they are still supported. I'm going to explain that to show that in the video classes, but the most recommended are these two here, okay? So now, let's proceed with a quick installation. The first step is to come to my site, bacula.us, okay? which is the same as bacula.lat for Latin America, it, you will be redirected. Please go to community, the community menu, installation, and then you have the bacula.org package installation, okay? I'm going to put this link in the video description also. Here you have everything you need. The first thing is access this URL here, you will be redirected for the, ba for the Bacula.org website. Here you can download the Debian R RPM packages from the, their repositories. You can also, if you come to the downloads menu, you can also download the SourceForge. There is also here a page for downloading the, the Windows clients and consoles. But if you need to install the, the packages for Linux, which is the server and clients, you need to come here. You need to make a very easy registration. They use that for st usage statistics, so 
they don't usually send any I don't know if uh, I think they don't use that for any newsletter or nothing like that then you submit and then you're going to receive an email like that okay it's the uh, you you just got an exclusive repository for Bacula community which is very great because it's very easier to much easier to install this way so click on your repository you have something like that here you have the licensing information you have a PDF that contains detailed information about the installation process but you can just ignore that if you want to come with me because I have some scripts that might easy this process so I have the RPMs I have the versions here that I am able to install okay and then I'll just come back to my quick guide and proceed here we have two options you can use this automated scripts <coughs> sorry they are maintained by the uh, community guy from Brazil, which is Vanderlei Hotel. I'm also Brazilian, and he's a friend of mine. You can download the script, you can try to install from the script. You only need here to type, to insert the Bacula key, which is a part of the U, the repository URL. You receive it, okay, it's this part here. Then you choose the version that you want to install the Bacula server version, watch database, and it's pretty interactive. It's easy to do, okay? For CentOS and Red Hat family, the only thing that I think this script doesn't do is disable, disabling Selinux, which is required for the Bacula server, and also to add the firewall port exceptions which is also required so this is script if you use the script you need to keep that in mind however since we are doing this video and I want to show you in details how to perform the installation I will just come below I will just roll the, the screen I have the Debian manual installation and below here I have the finally the CentOS manual installation or Red Hat is the or Oracle Linux they are basically all the same okay since I'm going to have to create a new repository under the Linux CentOS eon.repos the directory I I'm declaring these variables here one variable which is the version that I want to install you already know that I have lots of version here just type the version that you want to install then the Bacula key which you already what you already know it's a part of the repository URL okay let's put that here after that you can just copy and paste commands from my script to the terminal okay here I have some dependencies. I may also download the the repository key and importing importing it to to RPM. This is important for security to make sure these are the Bacula system provided package, the Bacula.org provided packages. Then I will have to create a new repository. That's why I declared that variables I established a value for that uh, variables Linux variables okay if I take a look at this file this is the way that should be okay the label which is basically free the name that's free also the base URL, which is basically the path for the the files, the packages that you need to install, the operating system. You have also for Fedora, for Suzy. Okay, so it's basically this URL here. It's another way of doing it. Just put in the URL, 
and these are pretty basic EAN options, okay? So, let's move forward. Here, following my script, you can choose between MySQL, MariaDB is also, it works also, but MySQL is more recommended than MariaDB, so that's why I'm installing here MySQL, but I'm not doing that. I already told you that I'm using the PostgreSQL installation. So I'm going to install the server. I'm going to install the Bacula package for PostgreSQL catalog. I'm going to uh, initialize the PostgreSQL. Uh, I'm going to enable it for boot start. I'm going to start the PostgreSQL PostgreSQL service and then I'm going to run the script to create the database to make the PostgreSQL tables which are the Bacula database tables and the Bacula user in PostgreSQL. Okay, grant, grant privileges for the Bacula user. So, very easy, okay, very easy to do, done. After that, let's go to uh, disable Selenix, I'm disabled for my current session and permanently, I'm also adding ports for the backlog console connect connection to the director, which is port 9101. Bacula Client 9102 and 9103, which is the Bacula Storage Daemon. I'm applying the, the changes. I'm enabling Bacula Service at startup, at machine startup. And I'm also starting all the Bacula Daemons for the first time. It's basically copy and paste. Most of my scripts are copy and paste. Okay. Uh, ah, sorry. I did not copy it. everything. I did not copy. Okay. Then it is almost done. There are two small little things that I'm doing here. Since now the Bacula binaries they are under OPT Bacula bin, I can't just uh, access B console. For example, I'm in TNP. I can just use the console if I don't have a link. So here I create a link for the USR SB, which is basically under the, the machine path most of the time by default. So then I would be, I already did that before. So that's why. And finally, this last thing here because Bacula default B console address. Okay, if I type B console here, it's the host name, the machine host name. And since this name is not in my DNS, I can't resolve this name. I can't connect to the Bacula directory. So I just I'm just replacing the B console address, which is the address which the B console CLI interface will connect, which is localhost. It's the, the same machine here. Okay. And if I make a B console now, I can access the very famous Bacula CLI. Okay, if I am able to see the Bacula version, if I see the asterisk as the prompt here, success. Everything, we done everything correctly. I can do now a status. Okay, everything's working. The catalog was created fine. Fine, PostgreSQL is running with Bacula database, and of course, if I make a PS Bacula, I can see that all Bacula daemons are running beautifully. Okay, the director, the storage daemon, and the file daemon. Okay, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed. I will be expanding my video classes with lessons about tape libraries, about the Bacolum installation, about uh, cloud, cloud storage with Arclon, with the Bacula S3 plugin. So please subscribe to my Udemy courses. 
uh, to my YouTube channel, okay? And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.